to Dream Your Dream series. My name is Pauline Lynham. I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Arkansas Career Pathways at Arkansas Northeastern College. Our focus is on positive thinking. You know them. Maybe you work with them, live with them, or hang out with them. Negative is an understatement. They complain, they vent, they criticize, they blame, and you're tired of dealing with them. Negative Nelly prefers complaining to finding a solution. Quick with the butts, whenever a possible solution or a new idea is offered, she sucks the energy out of a room within seconds. Inventing Victor likes to swoop in, dump his frustrations all over everyone who will listen, and then go on his merry way. Inventing Victor needs an outlet for every minor annoyance, frustration, and issue, and you're his target, you're left feeling dumped on. And of course, Billy Blamer, who is constantly critical, demanding, and berating, and blames everyone and everything when things go wrong. He doesn't take responsibility, rather he deflects it. Billy Blamers create a negative, guilt-written environment, usually them against the world, and you're left holding the bag. While the most effective strategy for dealing with some of these people is to eliminate them from your life, in many cases that's just not doable. You can't fire a co-worker unless you're the boss. You can't or don't want to cut off ties with your family, and so you've learned to put up with their negativity. But too much negativity can be toxic. It drains you, frustrates you, and sometimes it infects you. Here are some proven strategies you can implement immediately. The extinction strategy, which simply means to stop meeting their needs. Once their needs aren't being met by you, they'll move on to other ways of getting their needs met. What attracts negative people to you is that you give them what they want or need. Become a no-wanting zone. How? Simply refuse to engage. If you've been caught up in the ain't it awful, it's time to stop. If you've been relentlessly cheerleading, stop. Have a simple phrase. Like, isn't that interesting? Say nothing more, nothing less. After hearing that and nothing else three times, they'll start to get the hint that you're not going there with them. Next, set limits. You can't afford to spend 20, 30, or more minutes listening to someone rattle on about everything that's wrong in the world. It's far too costly to your peace of mind and productivity. With Billy Blamers, you need a zero-tolerance policy. Get to a place where you simply won't tolerate the rant. Or the abuse. With negative Nellies or Vinnie Victors, set a time limit and stick to it, somewhere between three to seven minutes maximum. Next, be unconditionally constructive. You may have tried being positive, but positive doesn't work. When you're positive, you're trying to build the other person up, a form of cheerleading. Instead of saying, you can do it, here's what I think you should do, you could say, I'd really like to hear how you'd solve that, or, instead of saying, I'm really tired of hearing your criticism all the time, you could say, I'd enjoy hearing your ideas about what would work. These strategies can and do work as long as you are consistent and clear. If you waver, the negative people in your life will sense the opening and pounce. You have to stick with it. Expect that they will test you. You will likely see an escalation of the negativity, drama, venting, or blaming at first. This is when holding strong to your time limits, charge neutral tone, and higher standards is a must. Once you pass the test, usually after three to five incidents, you'll see a dramatic change. Billy Blamer or Negative Nelly will move on to other sources of energy. Venting Victor will vent less or seek out a new dumping ground, and you'll feel lighter and more energetic. Most importantly, you'll start to attract people just like you, unconditionally constructive, with healthy limits and a passion for what's possible. If you need additional positive reinforcement, visit our Career Pathways counselors, Beverly Rogers, Mary Gaston, or Barbara Baker.